we have sweat block. This is a two in one for hands and feet. And it's clinical. Another question that I get asked is why is the clinical product mononicized ndogo? The tube is inside. Kapa, this is where the tube is. So inatoshana even from here to here. So how, why is the sweat block quantity mbona iko kidogo? Because it's a clinical product. You cannot compare this with your regular lotions. This is a clinical lotion. There is no way the clinical brand can be the same as the regular one in terms of quantity and purpose. You see, with your regular lotions, you can apply any time, any day. You know, but when it comes to clinical lotions, they are very specific. So for sweat block, this is a two-in-one. For those who have bought sweat block before, you can notice there is a change in the design or the look and feel compared to the prior uh, design of uh, active ingredient percentage. And again, just like sweat block, the wipes, information is written behind on how to apply. Everything is always at the back of the package. So if you're going to acquire any of this, always read the instructions at the back. Everything including active ingredient percentage. So for sweat block, the active ingredient, it's aluminum sesquio chlorohydrate at 16%. Directions, very clear. I'm just going to read them through. And this is for hands and feet. By the way, it's a two-in-one. So directions, number one, wash and dry your hands and feet before applying. Always, even with the PM and AM, uh, the facial gel, any topical application you're buying to address sweat in those specific areas, the first thing you need to do is to ensure that you wash those areas first before application and dry them properly. Number two, apply a peel-sized amount. Let me repeat one more time. Apply a peel sized amount. So peel sized ni size ndogo. To one palm or feet. So e peel size unapaka kwa mkono or the same peel size unapaka kwa mgu. And then apply a small amount to each foot. Rub both hands together until lotion is fully absorbed. So the instructions I'm reading is because it's a two-in-one. So rub both hands together until the lotion is fully absorbed. So once you have the peel size, you have to rub. Rub kabisa pakaikwe, absorbed, and you rub between, mostly it's like five seconds. For the feet, rub into the skin until the lotion is evenly dispersed and absorbed. Wash hands after foot application. So once you make a and you see you're buying this uh, for a specific reason. If you're buying it to address sweat komikono, then you make a if you're buying this to address sweat kwa migu, that's why you have to wash hands after applying kwa migu. So it depends. You're buying it for what purpose? This is why it's a two-in-one. Apart from sweat block, we have carpe for foot. This is the foot lotion. The yonder size. Yeah, carpe itself. So again, uh, instructions are written at the back. Always, and I insist, read the instructions. Most of you are failing because you're not reading instructions. Maybe you're too excited. You've seen the results, the reviews online of what people are saying, but you're skipping the important details on application. How do you apply this? How do you apply? What's the active ingredient? Read the important instructions written at the back. 
uh, the uh, active ingredient for cape is aluminum sesq chlorohydrate at 15%. Purpose is to reduce perspiration. Uh, warnings, of course, for external use only. Do not use on broken or irritated skin. And that also applies to sweat block. The instructions are also written at the back, including the directions on how to apply. This is Kwaapa Ivi. I'll read one, Apachini, the tip for success. For the first two weeks, apply nightly before bed and at least two times per day. After, after that, now apply as needed. You see, sorry, I have a swollen tonsil. I'm having a hard time, but we have to do this video regardless. Remember, with any topical application, you apply the purpose of an antiperspirant is to reduce the sweat. This is why for best results, you apply at night before bedtime. And then during the day, you apply two to three times. Then afterwards, once you start seeing the results, you apply as needed. These instructions, they do work. The problem is people don't want to follow these instructions. Whenever you're buying, so before to fungu and dani to check what's inside, kindly first read through. Read through to have a better understanding. And they have even written and indicated for you. All the directions are here. Do not use on broken or irritated skin. Natumona, the same peer with kape. Ask a doctor if uh, you have kidney disease. Same thing. And then keep out of reach of children. Uh, directions, wash and dry hands and feet thoroughly. You're supposed to apply 15 minutes before important activities. So don't apply this while sweating. 15 minutes before important activities. The directions. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's important. It's very, very, very important. Tafadali, whenever you buy this, Kujoku kwa drug farts, directions, everything is all indicated and well labeled. Soma before to ofungwe. For a better understanding. You see, once you know when and how to apply, then it becomes easier for you to be patient. So the same thing even with kape. Instructions is meandi kwa including directions on how to apply. Nata hapa hivyo mesema, for best results, apply every night before bed an additional two times per day for at least four weeks. Siku na marambili during the day. I hope tunailawano. If you want to see the best results, always read the instructions. The problem is that some of you are not reading through. You're quick to open this lid, unatwaile seal, and you start applying. Yet, haujasoma to understand. And if you even experience challenges, DM. Send a DM via Instagram. We'll take you through if there's anything you don't understand or you need clarification so. HK is there to assist. We are not just giving you a brand. We are not just giving you a topical treatment. We want something that will help you understand your treatment process and for you to achieve the best results. So always read. Do not neglect this area. Uh, always read through for a better understanding. Now, another question between the two brands, which one would you recommend? I get that all the time. Martin, between those two, which one is highly effective? And my question has, my answer, sorry, my answer has always been constant. They both serve the same function. You will never know they work until you try them. 
our body chemistries are different. It will be unfair for me to tell you, go for this specific brand. What if that brand doesn't work? For you. What if it doesn't work for you? Does it mean that it's not effective? No, it's effective. It's just that it didn't work for you. Chances are the next one will work bet best for you. So between the two, you have to experience these brands to know which one works for you. I cannot tell you that this is the best. Another thing that can help you make up your mind and decide on the brand to initialize is you have to read the reviews. Go online and see what people are saying about that particular brand. What are people saying about Kape? What are people saying about Sweatblock? What are people saying about Knitfit? Because they also have their own uh, hand antiperspirant or any other brand out there. What are people saying, those who have used? Read through the reviews and then you decide. Between these two, let me start with this brand and then I'm going to keep tabs. I'm going to have my own search tracker that will help me understand the times when my sweat is mild, excessive, or extreme, and the triggers, and the best times when I've applied the antiperspirant and it really worked exceptionally. So I can't tell you that brand A is better than B. You have to use, you have to experience those brands to understand which between the two works best for you. I have clients who, like a specific client who has been using Kape for the longest time. And I'm talking since 2019 till date. This is a regular client on Kape. The client tried and switched to sweat block, but eventually went back to Kape. I have another client who sweat block is the go-to product for them. They tried and switched up to a different brand. It didn't work for them. They went back to sweat block. Body chemistry. So between the two, choose one and start your journey. If it doesn't give you the satisfactory results you're looking for, switch to a different one. I hope this video has shed in some light on this specific question on the two, sweat block and cape, in relation to your sweat. At the moment, our hand lotion has sold out for cape. We only have this one remaining and the same as sweat block. They're fast moving and we are only able to bring in limited packs. We're trying to source for funds for us to be able to do bulk shipping. And this is where we are calling for support. So if you want to support HAK, reach out to us via Instagram, Facebook, or you can reach out to me directly. And I'll be happy to take you through on uh, ways at which you can assist HAK. So if you have any questions, please leave Leave them up in the comment section and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. Sweat without shame. Welcome to the Sweatuation Ship. My name is Martin, the founder of Hyperhidrosis Awareness Kenya. Welcome to the Sweatuation Ship. <laughs>